I want to talk to you about a company we've been covering for a while, and this company is uh, is remarkable in so much that that uh, um, they have a proprietary advantage. They are in a they are in a cutting edge technology. They have a market size potential uh, for the industry that is now topping eighteen billion dollars, based upon the most recent uh, research. All the boxes are checked, and uh, even the CEO is good looking. His name's Rick. <laughs> You got you, all your boxes are checked, Riggs. Well, then I'm done. You're having a good day. Yeah. And congratulations, you just got married as well. So I did, thank things are, you. Things are going well for you. Hey, uh, the, the name of the company is Origin Oil. Uh, I want you to go to their website and check them out. It's originoil.com. Their stock symbol, double O-I-L. Uh, Riggs is the CEO. Uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, I, I want to get Nick back in. Nick, Nicholas, his brother, is the chief uh, inventor and co-founder of the company. Yes, he is. Is he the brains of the operation? And yes. You're, and you're the good looks? Is that how that works? Yeah, totally. Okay, well, that's, as long as we're clear, <laughs> I just want to be completely uh, transparent here for our listeners. Give us a short uh, a short uh, view for the folks that are just joining us as we picked up a new uh, a couple of new listeners. I know we picked up uh, KSBN in Spokane, Washington, and KPNB in Portland, Oregon, as well as another affiliate in Boston. Why don't you explain again what Origin Oil does? In a nutshell, Origin Oil is a technology company that has a radically new cleanup technology for large amounts of water. The big problem with pollution of water is, you know, it, it's a, it's, it happens with tiny, tiny percentages. Mm -hmm. Let's take the frac water, for example. We treat frac water. Mm -hmm. The water comes out in millions of gallons, and you mm -hmm. have to somehow get tiny amounts of chemicals out without spending vast amounts of money. Sure. That's what we do. So when you say water cleanup, you you are you are uh, or you're talking in the in the oil and gas community. Is that are you guys um, confined to that community, or can this be moved over to other areas? Of, well, of any water space cleanup? where organic particles have to come out of the water. Mm -hmm. We started with algae, which is actually a beneficial. It's not a contaminant. It's a good thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you get the algae out of the water. Now you can use it for fuel, chemicals, feed, fertilizer, etc. And also. There's other applications with mines, and most recently, we've gotten into aquaculture. There's a big, big problem with ammonia in fish ponds. It's terribly hard to get out. Yeah, you can't get ammonia out of water, right? Isn't it? In fact, in fact, uh, Nicholas uh, uh, Eckleberry, the the chief inventor here, was explaining that when he was on the air with us. Is that it's almost impossible to remove once ammonia is in water. It's almost impossible to remove. You have all these successions of filtering ponds mm -hmm. with lily pads and all mm -hmm. that. Stuff. Right, sure. Okay, but it takes time and it takes uh, real estate. Yep. And uh, so a lot of operations just have too much ammonia and the fish die off or get very unhealthy. And the second thing is bacterial invasions, virus. There's a terrible disease hitting all the Asian fisheries right now. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like they're losing about a billion a year and it's climbing from there. It's called you know, early mortality syndrome, mm -hmm. where the fish die off before they can reproduce. Mm -hmm. So this is fish farming you're referring exactly. to. Exactly. Right. Now, it's a bacteria, mm -hmm. and they don't know what to do about it. Their idea is quarantine, right? Right, right, right. Well, that's not enough. Yeah, you're, you're treating the symptom, not the cure at Bingo. that point. We, our technology is not chemical. It uses electrical pulses mm -hmm. to essentially zap the organic contaminants and cause them to cluster up, and now we can get rid of them. By the way, zap is a technical term. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. Uh, but, you know, actually, it does, you know, it's the one thing we had Rusty Nelson say. It was the only thing you actually understood. So I figured, you know, we should probably talk to the lowest common denominator. Um, with Last time I said clump. Yeah, you did, <laughs> which also excited him. Uh, that was too big a word. Let me ask you this. So so you started in the oil space. We started in algae, actually. You started in the algae space. So you started cleaning algae first. We started, basically, the, 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 the algae has this tremendous promise mm -hmm. to because petroleum is old algae. Sure. Okay. And, but, you know, when, when nature made petroleum, it squeezed out the water. It took mm. care of business. Right. Now you've got this, this basically, a, a glorified swimming pool right. full of green stuff. How do you get this microscopic stuff out, and that's the biggest problem with the algae industry is getting the algae out of the water. So we solved that, and in the process we learned we could do a similar thing with old algae, petroleum, right. mm -hmm. yep. and then we've started to branch out with this aquaculture thing, which is huge. In fact, I have an animation to show you. Yeah, you know what I do, but I want to hold on. I want to hold on the animation until after the break because I want to, I want to spend some time talking about that. I want to give that a full segment. The, the, uh, you know, the, the, the interesting part about this is that you are the first, and, and I want to talk about proprietary advantage, because when you're looking at investing, I don't care if you're looking at investing in a privately held company or a publicly mm -hmm. held company, mm -hmm. you look at the management team, and you look at proprietary advantage, yeah. almost one, two, depending on, depending on who you are as an investor. Proprietary advantage here is key, because you guys have a process that nobody else has, and nobody else has figured this out yet. Talk about that. Okay. Especially in aquaculture, these guys use chemicals. Yeah. They use mm -hmm. antibiotics, they use various chemicals, and that has a limit. It has a, you know, diminishing returns. We all know that there's antibiotics resistance in, in, in animals, 
and uh, and humans too. And so after a while, it just doesn't work that well. Mm-hmm. And, and it creates its own problems, no doubt. As well. it, oh, no doubt, mm-hmm. it definitely does. And now we've got antibiotics going into our systems. We're becoming antibiotic resistant because of right. the antibiotics in the food. Mm-hmm. So these farmed fish, the space is exploding. Do you know that this year there's more fish being farmed than beef being raised? Is that right? That's right. So what? wait a second. Wait a second. There's more yeah. fish being farmed than beef being raised. In it is that is that worldwide? Yes, it's a global story. Yes. Okay, so that, so all of a sudden your your market size just went up exponentially. Exactly, right? and not only that. Basically, farm fish is completely eclipsing mm. wild fish. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's, it's easier. easier to do. Mm. Um, it, but but they're, what they're learning though is is farm fish is not very good for you. And the kind of food sometimes. Too. Well, because they're fed soy and things like that, yeah. right? Now, what you want to do is feed a fish algae, and now we come r- quick well, circle. So, so, you okay. remo- so now you remove you you remove the bad stuff and made the bad stuff a commodity. Not only that, when you break up ammonia, you get nitrogen, okay. and you feed the algae. Okay, so uh, Riggs is basically learning how to print money here. Right? <laughs> you, you need to listen. Uh, we're going to show a video at. Uh, 21 past the hour to kind of tell you how this process works. The name of the company, by the way, I'm starting to get emails here. Origin Oil. Origin Oil. Origin Oil. Origin Oil. O-O-I-L is a stock. <laughs> Go to OriginOil.com. Big Biz Show. Back in a second. Origin Oil has turned into this company that started off as a as an algae cleanup company to uh, to a company that is literally uh, dipping its uh, dipping its toe into so many different industries. You know, when I first met you, we were concentrating on the oil and gas cleanup, and we type. still are. Uh, but but the, and, and let's let, let's not lose sight of that because we've been talking about about water cleanup and fish farming and such. You guys still very much are involved in oil cleanup, right? Oh, and there's, there's wonderful things happening in background. What our job in you see in oil and gas, you can't start small. You have to start big. Right. You go, well, we're doing a million gallons a day. Right. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and you, you better not screw up our drilling operations. <laughs> right. And so what we've been doing is gearing that up. Right. And we have uh, some OEMs, uh-huh. original equipment manufacturers, right. who embed mm-hmm. our technology. They're hard at work building these systems that are low-end commercial scale, so getting into that million-gallon level, right? So you're licensing your technology. Exactly. Yeah, let's yeah. talk about that because that's, that's a good model because cause, cause it – we're, we're not just dropping off a, a container any longer. We're now licensing the deal to where it's almost like the, uh, the Bose model, like you mentioned. Yes. Let's talk about that. Well, the, uh, the Dolby model, exactly. Right. Now, it's a three-part. What I love is I can play the piano now because in... in <laughs> stop. In, oh, boy. <laughs> he should not have said that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because with one hand... Yes. Okay, I won't do Liberace today. Yeah. Anyway, so what we have is in oil and gas, for example, it goes straight to licensing. What's good about licensing is mm-hmm. I don't have to go build sales channel, mm-hmm. manufacturing, all that good stuff. There's people out there who do it and who want it, who we can leverage off of. People right. who are, you know, reusing flared gas or whatever, and they're out there and they can use this additional line of revenue. Mm-hmm. We can give it to them. Now, what's great in addition to that is that in aquaculture, I can sell equipment right now. I don't have to license right away. Okay. And that allows me to get current revenues because one thing's great about Licensing is it's hands off. It's mm-hmm. mailbox money. But you gotta wait. Yeah, yeah that's true. Because that's gonna actually start the process. I'll give you, you, I'll give you that. You do. Hey, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at a video you guys put together. Uh, which first of all, just introduce the video for us and tell sure. me what we're about to look at. Well, about three weeks ago, we went down to uh, to the Coachella Valley, mm-hmm. in 129 degrees heat, and during the course of a day, demonstrated that to a very skeptical skeptical audience Mm -hmm. that we could pull the ammonia out of this water and we could harvest the algae. They were blown away. This is the machine, this Mm. animation, Mm -hmm. that did the job and that we're commercializing. Let's take a look at this. So it's electro water separation for aquaculture and how it works. What you're seeing here, what are we looking at here? This is the unit, what's called the Q60, Aquaculture 60, and it does uh, 60 liters per minute of processing of this dirty water. Okay. And And basically what you're looking at, you're looking at dirty water, you're going to get in a tube through... Your electrical pulse, pulses, which look like a, a series of, of, you know, of, of pipes that have, uh, is that some sort of electrical charge that goes through Exactly, there? correct, okay. correct. And it comes, out, uh, it comes out the other end basically through a filter process like you'd see underneath uh, a reverse osmosis tank, and it comes out clean. Is that the idea, or does it just keep on circulating until it gets cleaner and cleaner and cleaner? So, yeah, so this, this device can treat about a million liter pond because mm-hmm. it's only treating about 10% a day. Okay. And it keeps doing mm-hmm. it, doing it, doing it, doing mm-hmm. it. Now, this unit can branch off to feed algae before going back into the pond because you got nitrates okay. in the water, you see? Wow. 
Now, optionally, if you don't want nitrates, we can get that out. It's mm -hmm. not, not hard. It just becomes It's almost like a gas. menu option for, for whatever, exactly. you know, it's, exactly. it's whatever criteria specifics there are for each individual site, you guys can modify to do that. Yes. Now, now how difficult is that? To, is, that to, is it scalable? In other words, with, with your licensing sort of model, is that, is that scalable? For you to for, for you to continue that because in other words, uh, if you're getting if you're getting criteria specific, so let, let's say one pond wants sure. wants X Y and Z and the other pond only wants A and B, by licensing this technology out, will they understand that as well, or is that something that you guys get to keep your your, your fingers in all along, which, well, which is another source point. of revenue? First of all, we have you saw microprocessor controlled. Yeah, we have a process control unit mm -hmm. that we've built ourselves on a, on a motherboard with uh, a Linux operating system, all right. that good stuff, and it's got all the secret sauce. We will continue to deliver that. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the smarts of the system. Mm -hmm. And it's auto-adaptive, so that it adapts to whatever local conditions they are. These pipes and so forth, they're cheap to build. Now, in the short term, this Q60 is stackable modular. We can go to any kind of, of throughput, deal with any so size pond. More yeah, say, yeah, so, so, so basically, and what, and what you're looking at, and I, and I invite you to go to, to, go to originoil.com. Um, I'm assuming the video's there as well. Yes, absolutely like. is. So originoil.com, take a look at that. Because you can kind of see what the thing looks like. Because there's, mm. there's also photographs up there, but, but that animated video really kind of tells you how simple this process is. It isn't, it, it, it's not really brain surgery, but the real, the real proprietary advantages is how you take the electrical pulses and, and clean it out. And then the separation part of this thing has got to be the real secret sauce here. Exactly right. Because cleaning is one thing, but actually make, you know, taking the goo and turning mm. it into a resource is really, is, is really where the magic comes. And this is where, you know, it's very hard to sell people on doing something because the law or, or environmentalists say to do it. They tend to resist well, let me, that. Well, let, let, me, let, me, let me talk about that. Uh, and that's called mandating, uh, that's called selling morality. You know, be, uh, you know, a mandate. You may not agree with AB 32 here in the state of California, which is a greenhouse gas uh, a reduction, which is happening in every state. You may not believe it. You may not care. It doesn't matter because yeah. you can be technology agnostic. A mandate means business. Right. A mandate means money. Mm. You can't sell morality business to business. You can certainly sell it to Joe Sixpack who's driving a Prius, but you can't sell it to the next guy in business because it's got to make money for him first. And that's exactly what you're talking about here, right? Right. So they're, for example, in oil and gas, they're getting more petroleum out. We did a test. There's a video of, of us testing up in uh, Lost Hills near Bakersfield. Yeah. And the guy, was we gave, he gave us water that he was going to ship off. He was done. Right. This is just right. trash water. And we got all this petroleum out. And he went, "Oh my God, we're giving up 10 percent of our so revenue." So what he's saying is, okay, <laughs> what he's saying is, okay, well, yeah, there's a mandate. You got to have clean water. I don't care about that. What yeah, I really care about yeah. is how much oil can you pull out of this clean water you're giving me. Bingo. I yeah. mean, and that's and that's and that's the sidecar here. And I think I think that's good. Did you know in the beginning, since you started off in the algae cleanup, did you know you're going to go into oil uh, automatically, or did you think you were just doing the water cleanup? This was completely. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, when we first started, we were going to do everything with algae. We were going to grow it. We were going uh, to, you name cause, it. Because the way the story goes, I can tell that this, ah, hey, wait a minute. And <laughs> yeah, as, yeah, as yeah. the technology is getting more robust, you're realizing the market size is getting bigger for you. Yeah. Inspired experimentation. Yeah. That's my brother. So he will just keep experimenting, and we just go, what would you do today? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Right. But it's, but it's, so, and, and, and I guess one last question for you this week, and I can't wait to, to, to see what happens with you guys next week, but... With respect to what you guys are doing now, if you could crystal ball for us in five years, do you think you're going to spend more time doing water, uh, the, you know, the, the algae fish side of things, and more time doing oil, or do you not even know what's next because of the technology is becoming so robust? Well, the key is to be a good licensor mm -hmm. so you can step back and kind of let those things develop, right? Okay. Get really good at technology transfer and technology management, mm -hmm. keeping the secret sauce in, and, and just get a lot of of fingers in a lot of pies, but not have to go into those industries. Otherwise, we'd have to be a 10 times. And, you know, company. my contract would say for every gallon of oil I pull out, I get a you know, percentage. <laughs> of, you know, it's, it's, that's a good, it's exactly that's, right. That's a good model. It's called a throughput model. In mm -hmm. fact, we're building that for oil and gas right now because that's these operators, they don't have a million or two dollars just hanging around. Right. That's a big deal for them. So you know what? Pay us X amount you of like pennies. That? That's good. Take care of it. There you go. All right. Briggs Eckleberry on keys here. <laughs> this is a little song he did called Summer Highland Falls when he was on his honeymoon. Origin Oil, OriginOil.com, stock symbol double OIL. Riggs, thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Sully. Excellent. Thank you, Troy. Coming up, Matt Pavich with Presidential Brokers. Here's a little bit of Riggs Eckleberry. They say that these are not the best of times, but they're the only times I've ever known.